What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. We're back here on NBA 2K25, also back in the Stephen Curry era because I love these throwback rebuilds. And today we have the Phoenix Suns. As we all know, it took a long time for the Suns to be good with Devin Booker, but I want to try to see if I can make that happen sooner for Devin Booker earlier in his career. So let's go ahead and jump in and rebuild the Phoenix Suns in the Stephen Curry era. Before you get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one and subscribe if you are new to this channel. As always, greatly appreciated. Also, my throat is killing me right now. I'm not going to lie. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it was the last video of the week for me to do. So I'm trying to toughen through it. Uh, yeah, I woke up with a really bad sore throat. So if I sound awful, that's probably why. But as you can see, Eric Bledsoe, Devin Booker, TJ Warren, Tyson Chandler, Alex Lynn, Dragon Bender, who obviously didn't end up being very good. Jared Dudley, PJ Tucker, Leandro Barbosa. So the biggest problem with the Phoenix Suns is early on, they missed out on a lot of Devin Booker or a lot of draft picks when they had Devin Booker on the roster. They just missed after, you know, missed so many times, just so many misses. And it looks like he already had his rookie season. So this is his second season, I think. Uh, so that's good to know. So it's time to buckle down and make sure we get this guy a good team around him. So without further ado, we'll simulate year one. Obviously, we're going to be very bad to start things off. We kind of already knew that, but we'll figure out how we do. Uh, at the deadline and there is a chance we can maybe move eric bledsoe as soon as possible i do still think trading him is probably the best way to go um he's 26 years old though so i mean he does kind of i mean we don't have to trade him necessarily but i guess i'll see what the offers are it just all depends on you know what's offered to me for bledsoe services today's video is brought to you by two softwares designed to help you beat the sports books and become a much profitable sports better we're starting on daily grind fantasies optimizer so if you plan apps such as prize picks underdog or any of these popular zfs apps having a tool like this is insanely awesome especially if you're excited about the nba coming back i'm already seeing value on the nba uh, on some books so i don't see anything on prize picks right now but as you can see there is some juice on Kenneth Walker under three and a half reception. Let me see if I can go look at this again. So over on Dabble, there's a lot of NBA value coming up for the opening, you know, opening regular season. Now, these are only one-to-one -one comparisons, so I don't like necessarily love any of these in particular at the moment. Uh, but there's some value over here on DeAndre Hopkins over three and a half receptions as well, which is nice to see. Uh, so clearly there is some value popping up, but you got uh, 11 rebounds. Fandle is at 12 and a half. Uh, you got some clear discrepancies showing up, but as I said, one-to-one -one comparisons aren't my favorite to compare to, but a lot of Pistons value at the moment. Some Pacers value too. Also love Oz Jam's positive EV tool. Uh, let me get to the recommended filters and see if anything's popping up. There we go. So uh, we got not a whole lot of great value, but I guess we could look at this hockey play for tonight. Uh, first period team total over, you know, one point for the uh, Sharks. Uh, plus 108. You actually have DraftKings minus 115 and Pinnacle at minus 109. So there's definitely some clear value here on FanDuel to pinnacle and DraftKings, so i really like this as well we wouldn't have found this without oz jam which is really nice and then last for sure not least price picks and look at that they got a promo on anthony edwards over half a point so if you want to use code crushables and any of these links down in the description below uh you get percentages off your first month on the softwares that help you become a profitable sports better and on price picks that match first deposit dollar for dollar up to a hundred dollars so on that Let's get back to the video. So at the end of the season, as expected, we did not make the playoffs. So obviously there's no plan either, but we wouldn't have made that at this point either. But we do end up as like the 12 seed in 130 game. So I guess that's, you know, decent, not terrible. We had a uh, 24 from Devin Booker, which is great. 23 from Eric Bledsoe. I did stop to see if there was any value for him at the deadline. I didn't really see anything that I liked, uh, but do remember Bledsoe's famous tweet of, I don't want to be here. TJ Warren with 14 as well. 10 from Dragon Bender and then nine. And then maybe in this alternative universe, Dragon Bender ends up being a solid player. I don't know, but uh, we'll see who wins the championship and we'll get straight into the off season into the draft as usual. So we got the Warriors going on to beat the Cavs, just like it kind of was in real life back then. Seven Curry's your final MVP. Uh, Metal World Peace retires. You got Richard Jefferson, uh, Chris Anderson, and Manu Ginobili all calling it a career. So on to the draft lottery. So let's see where our pick is going to end up this offseason. So we end up with either, all right, so top six pick. Hopefully we can stay in the top six and we will drop to seven, of course. So that will not uh, happen, but we got number seven. So we'll have to see who falls to us at seven. We all know who's, you know, good in this draft class. So we have that advantage. Earl Watson, I'm fine with keeping for another year just because like, uh, well, do I want to go, you know, be aggressive this offseason, get a different head coach? Let's see. So we got... Boonholzer, who obviously is the head coach of the Suns now in real life. Uh, Brian Shaw. You know what? Screw it. If you want to get Devin Booker, I mean, it's not like Earl Watson has bad badges, though, but I'll still fire him. I'm just going to still fire Earl Watson. He wasn't, he didn't end up being the guy in real life. Uh, so I'm going to go after Mike Boonholzer. I don't think he'll accept, but I'll offer it anyway. 
Uh, we got Luke Walton, who's interesting, I guess. We can offer on him. What else do we got? Um, Brian Shaw or Brian Wyatt, we could offer on and see if we can get any of those. And then we'll offer, like I said, on Mr. Shaw as well. All right, we get none. So none of them except, unfortunately. So we strike out on all those options. That sucks. Uh, we got Earl Watson still here. Dave Yeager, Elston Turner, uh, Jonathan Miles, Oliver Anderson, Frank Vogel. Wow. Frank Vogel, of course, and I mean the Suns who just got our Suns head coach who just got fired. Uh, so I guess David Yeager doesn't sound too bad, who's an all right head coach. So we'll, gra we'll grab him to be our head coach. And let's head to draft night. So on draft night, as we already said, we have the sixth overall pick or sorry, seventh overall pick. We'll see if Bledsoe's trade value pops up. So the fact we get third overall would be kind of wild. Uh, that'd be obviously amazing. But I, you know, I'm going to try to be somewhat realistic here. Bledsoe was not worth that. Uh, free Teague, Drew Holiday, Drummond. Drummond is interesting, but I don't think I'll do that. Uh, Beverly and Ariza and then Adams and Rubio. So I don't really see anything I like. So I kind of, I think it all depends on who we draft here. So number one, it's going to be TJ Leaf. That is wild. Okay. Shout out to the Kings, I guess. Uh, Tatum to the Magic. That's disgusting. Markel Fultz to the Bulls. Okay. Uh, we got Donovan Mitchell. I was hoping he'd fall to us, but he does not. Uh, John Collins of the Timberwolves. And number six is going to be Jonathan Isaac. Okay. So who do we take? Um, we got Lonzo Ball. Let's just make sure that all the options we have. We have Frank Nilakino. We got Dennis Smith. We got Ben Bow. We have Josh Jackson to the Sun. Stuck in real life, as we know. Darren Fox. So, and then Markin is down here. So I think, obviously, out of these options, we either go Lonzo or uh, Darren Fox. I mean, you really can't go wrong with either. But... Since Lonzo Ball just came back from injury and uh, made his preseason debut after a couple of years not playing, let me get Lonzo Ball. I think him and uh, Devin Booker would be a great fit anyway, and this will definitely make Eric Blood so expendable. So I'm going to take Lonzo Ball instead of Fox because I have gotten Fox before. So we're going to get Lonzo Ball here. Do I have any real players left? I don't think we do. Thomas Bryant's real, so I'll take him. So that will be our pick in the second round. All right. We got Lonzo Ball, Thomas Bryant, and Jose Nunez, who I don't know anything about. So I'm going to sign these two, of course. Uh, we got Leandro Barbosa, which I'm fine with declining. He's 34 years old. And then Booker and Warren will accept. Uh, qualifying offers, Ox Lynn. Sure, I'll extend that offer. And then free agency. Uh, I don't know if we have important free agents. We have PJ Tucker. And yeah, nothing too crazy. Okay. And we do have money to sign. Oh, we could sign Dwayne Wade, I guess. Okay. I'm not going to do that, obviously. But uh, that's cool to know. All right, so I do want to trade Bledsoe. I want to give Lonzo Ball the keys to the point guard spot immediately, so Bledsoe is going to be moved out of here. So Warren and Derek Jones Jr. are small forward rotation right now, power forward rotation. So to me, the clear answer is to trade for Bledsoe for a front court player. So that is what we'll look to do. So we'll try this again. And, you know, honestly, if Detroit offered me Drummond again, I might just do it. You know, Detroit ended up getting pennies on the dollar for Drummond. DeAndre Jordan I won't do. Conley, Whiteside, Batum, Russell... First round pick, Barnes, Nets, Pistons come through with Andre Drummond offer again. They don't offer him this time. Okay. I should have done it on draft night. I was considering it, but now that we've drafted Lonzo Ball, I think I'm fine with it. So Drummond, like I said, they ended up trading from penny trading him for pennies on the dollar anyway, eventually. So this would be a lot better than they've ever gotten for Drummond. So if they really want to do this, we can do a swap. Bledsoe for Drummond. What do you say? They say no. Um, that would weaken their spot. They say I'll offer you Thomas Bryant, who I just drafted. I'm not a fan of this pro that we use too much at our starting center spot. Um, I'll give you a top five protected hit my heat pick and they agree. Okay. So we get Drummond. So Drummond's our new center and Drummond is 23. So he kind of fits the timeline as well, which is nice. Drummond Chandler, Dragon Mender, who we could probably play at the power forward low key because he can space the floor a little bit. I don't know if he'll end up being good for us, as I said, but we'll, we'll move him there for now. So now we have a backcourt of Lonzo and Booker, which is exciting. And then TJ Warren, Dirk Jones, Dragon Bender Dudley, and then Drummond Chandler. So I can rock with that. So all we need to do is sign back a point guard, uh, which we could sign like Michael Carter Williams or something. So I'll sign Carter Williams and then shooting guards. Give me like, uh, I mean, we had Jeremy, we had Jeremy Lamb in yesterday's video, but I'll take him again today, you know, trade value down the line or whatever. So yeah, we'll get him, and then we could get Alex Lynn back. I might have just renounced him on accident, though, low-key, which I think I did. All good. Uh, maybe I could still get him back, because I was like, Pachulia, what about, what's Alex Lynn asking for? Let's see. He's asking for $6 million. I'm assuming I can still afford that, and we will get him back. Okay, nice. That looks good. And now we go to player progression, and we can see what this is looking like. So, got Drummond up to an 87, Booker 84, TJ Warren 79. Uh, Chandler stays the same, which is interesting. Alex Lynn 77, Dragon Bender is up. 
and then Derek Jones, Carter Williams is down, and then you got these guys down here developing as well. Okay, not bad. So we got a new big three, I guess, of Lonzo, Booker, and Drummond. I don't know if that would lead us to the playoffs, but I think it'll make us interesting. Drummond is a rebounding monster, and we know 2K loves rebounds. It's a very important stat in 2K. So I think we're off to a good start in this one. We'll have to see how we do in year two, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of year two to see if things improve or not. So at the end of year number two, this team was a lot better than I ever even could have anticipated. We won over 55 games, which is pretty wild. So I love to see that. I don't know if Devin Booker makes all NBA team. It doesn't look like he does, unfortunately, but obviously Lonzo is definitely going to you know, appear on this all rookie team, which uh, is really nice. And Drummond makes all defensive second team. So that's cool. Uh, cool too. The Lonzo ball was amazing out of his rookie season. I think he's a, you know, 10 and eight. 36% uh, from three. Love to see that. And here's our all-rookie second team. So we end up as the fourth seed in the West. Take a look at the player stats. I even saw the deadline to see if we can improve our roster at all. It just really wasn't there. To me, the main thing, if we could figure out something to do, is if we can free up cast space this offseason and sign a free agent. Because Booker is making pennies on the dollar. Drummond is on us con on his contract. But, like, you know, Lamb, we could try to trade. Lonzo is making pennies on the dollar right now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, while Devin Booker is going to be on the last of his rookie contract this upcoming offseason, trying to trade or sorry, sign a free agent would probably be great. So we get the Jazz in round one. Uh, I mean, I think they're beatable. I don't think we're that good, but 2K simulation seems to think differently. So we'll see what happens. So many current round and we will beat them in six. So we are on to the second round already in this video. And now we have the San Antonio Spurs who have Kawhi and Aldridge and Solinger, Dwayne Wade and Parker. So uh, let's see if we can beat them. All right, well, we already find ourselves in the conference finals. We just swept that Spurs team, which is pretty wild. Now we get Denver. So Stephen Curry, oh, Stephen Curry and Jokic, it's over. We're not beating this team. But hey, it was a good run while it lasted. Okay, what is going on? How on earth are we in the finals right now? I'm not even close to being done with this team. And we're in the NBA finals, bro. Are we serious? This run's got to end right here, though. Bro. That might have been the most weirdest championship I've ever won. But hey, I'll take it because my luck in 2K has been absolutely brutal. The fact that we just won right there is pretty absurd to me. That just goes to show you how much of a force Andre Drummond is, in my opinion. Like, how on earth did we just win a championship? That is crazy. And I haven't even done anything, to my opinion, to my knowledge, to put ourselves in position to win a championship. Lonzo was a great addition. Don't get me wrong. Booker's fantastic. Drummond, I love the addition. I didn't realize he'd be this good, though. Drummond is the key. He is the key in the Stephen Curry era to winning a championship. Got to trade for him every time now, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. But, wow, I can't believe we won already. Season number two, we won a championship. Devin Booker doesn't have a championship in his career just yet. I think I, think I call this one successful. But I don't want to end on that because, like, I felt like I'm not even done with this roster at all. Like, there's so much more I can do. So... That Miami uh, Heat pick that we traded ended up being 17. Uh, so we didn't miss out on too much, which is good. Uh, we're going to keep Dave Yeager because obviously he, you know, something's going right here. On draft night, I don't even know if we have our own pick, which actually we do. What am I talking about? So we have number 30 in this draft. So we'll have to see if there's anybody here. But man, we need to dump some sour because I want to be, be a big name free agent player. I don't want to keep this roster the same. I'm not going to look at this. So. I mean, Dragon Bender, though, has been damn good. 42% from three and then 13 points. I just don't know if he'll develop enough. But my like Tyson Chandler, Jeremy Lamb, if we can get rid of these two guys on draft night and dump some salary here, that would be nice. So Covington and a first-round pick from Philly. Yeah, sure. Sign me up. We're going to do this. So Robert Covington is going to save us a little bit of money, and he'll be a good player to have as well. Very cheap right now. Alex Lynn, is there anybody else making too much money that I want to get rid of? Uh, Dragon Bender was the one, obviously, but the fact that he's been so good, you know, makes me wonder if we should just keep him. Alex Lynn is not making much either. So, yeah, I'm fine with that. So, let's just head into draft night and see what we get at pick 30. So, on draft night, we have Tony, or Troy Brown Jr., D'Anthony Melton, Javon Carter, uh, we have Yudal Watanabe, Mo Wagner, and Jalen Brunson is here. Uh, yeah, sign me up for that. Jalen Brunson will be the pick here at 30. I don't even know if he'll be good right away, but it was a 70 overall out of the gate. Uh, that's a back point guard in the background that might develop like crazy. Derek Jones and Devin Booker will accept, obviously. Uh, qualifying harvest TJ Warren is a free agent. Um, all right. So for free agency, TJ Warren is the free agent. We have money for like LeBron? No, but we do have some money, which is good to know because we could sign a good free agent here. So we have Lonzo, Mark Carter Williams, no shooting guard right now. 
We have Covington and Derek Jones. We have Dragon Bender and Dudley, and we have Drummond and Alex Lane. So to me, signing a Ford is my favorite idea this offseason. So if we could do that, that would be great. So we have Gary Harris, who I'm not going for. TJ Warren. All right. So uh, let's go to the afford. Let's go to all positions so we can see everybody. So we're not going for LeBron. We have Paul George, which is interesting. Marcus Cousins, uh, Isaiah Thomas, we're not going for it. Embiid, Blake Griffin, um, who is not actually 22 years old, but shows he's 22. Wiggins is interesting. Uh, we could add Wiggins to this team now. He would probably, you know, be matched easily. Levine, outside of that, kind of falls off. So, I mean, looking at all these options, Paul George is definitely intriguing. If we added him next to Devin Booker and Lonzo, and then, I mean, I don't know how we don't want a championship next year, right? Uh, now, we don't have enough money for him. We had to free up like $5 million, which, um, uh, I mean, I guess we could do that with Jared Dudley's contract. I didn't even think about that. So get rid of Dudley. Now, he's not worth a first. Cleveland wants him for a second. And I'll go ahead and offer Paul George a contract. I mean, you know what, what could possibly go wrong here? So Paul George to Phoenix. Let's offer it to him and see if he wants to come over. And he has no other offers. So he will assign that. So we have to lose out on TJ Warren, but... Getting Paul George out of this core while Devin Booker is really cheap, I think is the best possible solution to all things here. So I'm liking that a lot. Now we have uh, Mark Carter Williams. We have Devin Booker. We have Covington, Dirk Jones. We can move one of these guys to shooting guard uh, or power forward. So we'll probably just sign a shooting guard really quickly and call it an off season. So uh, Josh Richardson. Yeah, sure. Sign me up for that. I'll take Josh Richardson as their backup shooting guard. So yeah, that's an off season to me. If you ask me, let's go to play progression and see how much Booker and Lonzo go up. So Got Lonzo in 83, Booker 89, Drummond 88, and we just added Paul George to this roster. Dragon Bender is a role player for us, which is something I never would have thought. Actually, he's a starter. I mean, yeah, a role player, but starter still. Um, man, I think we can win a championship easily. And we still have Brunson, who can develop in the background. We're definitely winning a championship this next year. The fact that we won last year on this roster, if we don't win this next year after adding Paul George, it is a crime, man. We got to go. We got to go win it. So Dave Yeager wins coach of the year here. And honestly, I would like to keep going, but man, my throat is telling me different. I think this will be the final season. The fact that you already got a championship, maybe 2K was listening to me. I don't know, but hopefully we can go far again and go back to back because that'd be nice to end the video that way. Uh, we are the first in the Western Conference. If we take a look at the player stats, he had 25 from uh, Devin Booker, 21 from Paul George, and then 13 from Dragon Bender, 11 and 12 from uh, Drummond, and then 10 and 6 and 9 from Lonzo. So Utah in round one. We beat this team last year, so I can only think that would be the case again, but you never know. And we will beat them in five. Now, we did beat the Spurs last year, too, and things look very similar. Dwayne Wade got worse as well. So I can only imagine. I mean, it is Kawhi Leonard, so you never truly know. And we're down two to one. All right, so we got to buckle things up here because i want to get back to the conference finals at the very least if possible so let's send cast game four maybe this time around the fluke won't happen and we won't win but um it looks like we can maybe even it up here and we do even the series so 120 and 103 let's go to game five i want to give more minutes to roco it looks like in the starting five i don't hate that all right so game five in phoenix to go up three to two would be nice if we could do just that it's looking good right now and i think we're gonna win game five as long as we don't blow a massive lead so we win game five now i go to a game six and san antonio to see if we can close them out here and avoid a game seven altogether and we have the lead right now and we're blowing them out once again man um all right now we get the denver nuggets so i didn't think we'd beat last year but we did somehow they have Jokic and then moutier and then gary harris your nurk is just starting so this will be a close series i think if i had to guess game one goes to us though Game two, two to zero. I don't know, man. For some reason, Jokic and Steph have nothing on us. I don't know why, but we beat them badly. And now we get Philadelphia. So we are back in the finals. We got Donovan Mitchell, Ben Simmons, Luka. Oh my goodness. What a freaking roster. Holy moly. Uh, Wow, that's pretty nasty. Game one, one zero. Game two, they even it up. Game three goes to us. Game four, three to one. And we should be closing the 76ers out here with a title. Uh, this will be a close one, thankfully, because I would love to jump in. I jumped in yesterday and had a lot of fun. Now, we did run away with the lead here a little bit, but a minute 17 left on the clock. I'm going to come out here and shoot around a little bit. And I would go for the 3P, guys. But man, I'm going to end it on this note. Just I'll just end on two championships and call it a day, bro. Um, I took some medicine before this, and it's not really working, it feels like. But uh, Roko's giving me a screen. 
didn't really get anything going there. So I'm going to just shoot it through Paul George and it did not go in. Okay. All right. Donovan Mitchell is going to have the ball. He's going to give it to Dario Sarge down low. Oh, we get the steal. That was an accidental steal too, by the way. All right. Uh, Rocco, you want to? Nope. It looked like it was going to be open there for a second. Uh, I wish Devin Booker was out here, but he's not. So Robert Covers is going to give me a screen. I like that look. And that's slightly early, but it goes down. There we go. 97 to 111. And a three in their face, which is nice. Ben Simmons. Lonzo Ball guarding him. Simmons is going to drive. We're there. And that's going to be another stop. All right. We're off and running in transition. Anybody want to go up for like an oop or something? Nope. No oops. All right. Lonzo Ball. Uh, let's just give it to Paul George again. This time he's got Joel Embiid guarding him. All right. Let's see if we can get around Joel Embiid here. Ooh, I did not mean to pick up my dribble. My bad. Is that Derrick Rose? No, just kidding. No disrespect to Derrick Rose. Okay. I need a screen fast. We're going to have to hit something here. And that did not work out. All right. 12 seconds left in the clock. At least we hit a three to end the video. But Ben Simmons is going to take it. And he's going to give it to Okafor down low. We got four seconds to make something happen here. I'm going to try to do something here in four seconds. All right. Give it to Paul George. Yo, shoot this. Actually went in. Wow. I did not expect it to go in. All right. I'm going to end it on that note, guys. We're going to win another championship in Phoenix. Bro, Drummond is a cheat code. That is what I've learned today. I feel like uh, at least old Drummond is. I mean... Bledsoe for Drummond, I guess, may have been one of the best trades I've ever made because that made us so good right away. But all right, guys, I'm going to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. Of course, have a great weekend. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.